Following last night's Double or Nothing pay-per-view, it's time for another Wrestle Planet news update, and it's all about AEW. We have an update regarding the contract status of Leo Rush, and Cody Rhodes confirms a new title is coming to All Elite Wrestling. All that and more coming up in today's video, but first... Following last night's Double or Nothing, AEW have confirmed the dates of their next two pay-per-views, Full Gear and All Out. The third installment of All Out will be held live from Chicago, Illinois on Sunday the 5th of September 2021. The show will be held in the same venue as All In and the first All Out at the Now Arena which was formerly the Sears Center. Of course, the last All Out had to be held from Daly's Place due to the pandemic and now they're making a return to the second city. It has also been confirmed that Full Gear will go down on the 6th of November from St. Louis, Missouri at the Chefetz Arena and will be the third edition of the show. The 2019 edition of the show was held from Baltimore, Maryland, and the second one last year was held from again Jacksonville, Florida at Daly's Place. Now with AEW back on the road, they're broadening their horizons once again and returning to a touring schedule. In a recent interview with Inside the Ropes, the Pinnacle's King Pin, MJF, asked if there was a female on the AEW roster that he would welcome into the faction. MJF quickly named the brand new women's champion, Britt Baker. Me and Britt have actually formed a bit of a bond. I still think she's a total bitch and she definitely thinks I'm a shithead, but talent recognises talent. Real recognises real. Do I think we're going to add a female in the pinnacle? Probably not. I think right now we are easily the most dominant faction, group, however you want to put it, in professional wrestling. We're in the most intense and intriguing angle with the inner circle. Now after we win all the gold, will there perhaps be a conversation where we're going? Well, there's only one title left. Then would it possibly make sense for me to pull Brittany Baker over to the side and just have a conversation? Maybe. Many have speculated that if there was to be a woman added to the group, it would be Tessa Blanchard due to her father Tully Blanchard being part of the group. Obviously, the signing of Tessa is a complicated situation and we don't seem to be any closer to finding out what her future holds. Now that Britt Baker is the new women's champion, it might be time for MJF to look towards her in an attempt to add some gold to the faction. But let me know in the comments below who you'd prefer to see in the pinnacle, Tessa Blanchard or Britt Baker. On April 15th, WWE confirmed the release of Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, collectively known as the Iconics. There has been much speculation onto where their next destination will be and whether they would stick together as a duo or seek solo careers. In a recent interview with Busted Open Radio, the team expressed their desire to stick together and also discussed where they'd like to end up when they sign with another promotion. Billy said, we definitely want to stay together. We'd love to work for another promotion and we feel we can help a tag division at whatever company we choose to go with. We still love tag team wrestling and that was our goal all along, to really build tag team wrestling. In terms of their next destination, Peyton added, it's tough. For example, AEW, I feel we could help their women's division, but they don't necessarily have a women's tag division. We have TV experience and we could help build that up. With Impact, they have a women's tag division and a well-established knockouts division that we could easily slip into. I feel we have a lot to offer both of them. Peyton was spotted at the AEW Double or Nothing pay-per-view show, and although this may spark speculation on whether she is AEW confirmed, she was likely just there to show support for her husband Sean Spears, who took part in the stadium stampede match as part of the pinnacle. It didn't go so well for Sean, as he was pinned in the finish by Sammy Guevara. At Double or Nothing, Leo Rush made his AEW debut as the surprise entrant in the Casino Battle Royale. Although Rush is currently working in MLW and New Japan Pro Wrestling, it is now being reported that his deal with both promotions are handshake deals, similar to what he has now with All Elite Wrestling. Tony Khan spoke of Leo's AEW contract status after the pay-per-view and said, 
I haven't got pen to paper, but Leo and I have a handshake where he can work here and New Japan. He wanted to keep working here, and I think we've worked something good out on a handshake. I think he has a handshake with New Japan too, and that's what we've been doing, and it's pretty good. I think it's a good way to work. So far, so good. It's currently unknown on how often Leo Rush will show up on AEW TV, although he is no doubt a great addition to the roster despite his short appearance in the Battle Royal. Rush has been a free agent since April 2020 after being released as part of the mass WWE releases of that month and has made appearances for New Japan, AAA and MLW as well as a number of other promotions since then. He certainly hasn't waited around having worked for a lot of the top promotions around the world in the past year. He is the reigning MLW middleweight champion and had a brief spell with the AAA cruiserweight title, although the reign isn't officially recognised by the promotion. At Double or Nothing, Mark Henry was announced as the first analyst on the upcoming AEW Rampage TV show, which debuts in August. The show is set to air on Friday nights on TNT before moving to TBS in January. Tony Khan recently spoke of the signing and the value Henry could bring to AEW and said, Mark Henry and I are friends, and Mark told me he was available to do things that I would be really interested in doing. I thought that would be really interesting because he's not only a good friend, but a really respected person in the wrestling business. Not just a great wrestler, but a great mind, a great scout, and a great analyst in wrestling. He gives his opinion on the radio, but he provides great scouting reports, and he really has helped mentor a lot of wrestlers in addition to being a great wrestling mind. And I think that he could not only be a great on-air personality, but a great backstage influence. He's a great friend and person, so it's just great to have Mark in the AEW family, and it was great to announce it on such a special show. There is currently no sign that Henry will be making any in-ring appearances, although he did recently express a desire to have one last match under the right circumstances. And quickly before we continue, make sure you scroll down and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos as we head towards 20,000 subscribers. But now you've done that, let's get on with the video. Do you want to see Mark Henry in an AEW ring? And if so, who would be his opponent? Let me know in the comments down below. AEW EVP Cody Rhodes recently spoke with the media ahead of Double or Nothing and teased that a brand new title will be coming to AEW in the near future. Cody told the media, the TBS title has not been discussed yet, but another title, as a lot of people can guess, has been the title that has been more discussed about potentially coming in the future. I'll let y'all speculate on what that is. Hint, hint, we have a lot of people, teams on the roster. This hint of a team-based championship is likely a trios title, which is a six-man tag match title. Personally, I'd prefer to see a women's tag belt, which could provide a great opportunity for more TV time for the division, especially since there is already three male titles and four if you include the FTW title, whilst there is only one on the women's roster. A tag belt could be a good addition to Dark, Dark Elevation, and maybe even Rampage, and would be a good way to build women up ready for dynamite. A women's tag belt could open up the opportunity to bring in the previously discussed Iconics who could lead the division forward. Cody could well be hinting towards this, but since there aren't many women teams in AEW, if any, and he said we have a lot of people teams on the roster, it seems to reference the number of stables rather than the number of women's tag teams that the company has. But that's all for the news, but before you go, make sure you check out my review of AEW Double or Nothing 2021. 